Welcome to Flying Doodles, where we interview aircraft owners about their airplanes and then take them up in the air for a flight. In this episode, we meet with flight instructor Christy Wong, go over how she plans for a flight, does her pre-flight checks, and then we take the airplane up on a cross-country flight from Denton, Texas down to Austin, Texas. It was a warm summer morning in Denton, and we were headed to Austin to pick up Beverly Bass, who is the first female captain for American Airlines. All right, so today we are lucky enough to fly with North Texas aviator celebrity, Christy Wong, <laughs> and the Wong Warrior her airplane. And uh, so today we are going to go save someone. What are we doing? Yeah, we're doing a rescue flight. So it just popped up. Beverly Bass needs rescuing in Austin. And so she has a pretty unique story. So we'll do a separate episode on that, but we're going to go save her down in Austin. So we're, we're doing a cross country. Her. We're going to do a cross country in the Wong Warrior. All right, so we're going to plan out the stuff first and then we'll get out of here. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, Christy, tell us what this room is and uh, where can we find it? So this is our flight planning room and uh, it's uh, there's usually one in every single FBO. Here we've got a computer station. Um, you can come here, you can do your flight planning, including weather, routing, etc. especially for uh, if you're flying IFR. Today we're just gonna fly VFR, but it's still important to look at what the weather conditions are now, what they're gonna be along the route, destination, and then of course our return trip. Right. And so uh, there are multiple computers in these things and sometimes there's phones where you can call and get a weather briefing from an actual, you know, 1-800-WX brief and there's printers and such. But nowadays, pretty much everybody does everything on their phone uh, or iPad. And so, uh, but you use, uh, what, four flight for yours? Yes, so I take a look at aviationweather.gov because, uh, I mean, that's all of our official weather planning and then I back it up by going to four flight. Right. And so four flight, and then a lot of it's pretty cool. Is that I mean it's, they're not a paid promotion or anything like that. But four flight, you can uh, sometimes upload directly to what like, Garmin products and stuff, can't you? Um, you can definitely upload through, or you can connect it with your Stratus. So right. I've got a Stratus in the airplane. That's what we're going to use today, and that'll actually give us um, like next rad type weather. Um, it'll show us precipitation, storms on there, as well as of course our traffic and and whatnot. So. So today we're looking at mostly sunny this morning. There is a little bit of weather off to the west. Um, we're gonna keep an eye on that, but it appears that there's a cap there. There's a convective segment that I was looking at, but again, it ends kind of out to the west. Um, we have a chance of storms this afternoon, especially later. I think we'll be back before then, but we're just gonna keep an eye on it. Of course, we're gonna look at all of the airports along the way, and we're gonna come up with a contingency plan so that if we have to land somewhere, we can. Okay. All right, well then let's get out to the airplane. All right, sounds good. All right, so this is the famous Wong warrior. Yeah. Her last name is Wong, so. Uh, <laughs> kind it of makes a, sense a, when you know my last Yeah, name. yeah. So, okay, so now that we've done, uh, we've done, we checked the weather and everything, now you're gonna give it a little pre-fight inspection. That's correct. All right. We're gonna do a pre-flight to make sure that she is ready to go for Safety of flight today. We're gonna let her tell us if there's any reason why we can't fly today. Right. And so the main things are, what are you looking at when you're doing a uh, pre-flight? I'm looking at not only the exterior uh, structure. I'm gonna check the flaps and the ailerons, make sure that everything looks and feels okay as far as the cables, employees, and whatnot. If there's anything abnormal, we're gonna end the flight. Sure. Flaps and all of the components of the flaps to make sure that it can handle the stress of flight today. Same thing with the ailerons. I'm making sure that they move like they're supposed to with the yoke there. I'm checking all of my pins here to make sure that they're all connected. There's a roll pin underneath this one that I always check too to make sure that it's it's good to go and that it's not super loose or too tight. Shake the wings. <laughs> yeah, if you have a loose wing, you might have a problem. Bingo. But you never know, stranger things have happened and it takes two seconds to do that, so why not? I'm gonna check my fuel to make sure that there's no uh, no water in there. And if you don't coming away smelling like Avgas, are you even a real pilot? <laughs> That's right. Well, so it's one thing. Actually, uh, what Avgas is lighter than water, so the water would be at yeah, the bottom, right? Yeah. So check this out. So what you do is you come out here in the sun, and uh, you can pour it out on there. And if you've got any uh, question as to whether or not it's water you'll notice that fuel evaporates very quickly, whereas the water will stay. This all looks like fuel though. There doesn't appear to be any water. It's all evaporating fairly evenly. My tires are fairly new, but I also like to get down here and make sure that the pressure on the tire is good. 
And then I'm also looking at the brakes and the brake pads and whatnot. Oil looks good. She's happy at about five and a half to six. She kind of blows everything else out, so. But I do have extra oil in the back just in case we need it. All right, the color looks good. Uh, I'm feeling the uh, um, alternator belt to make sure it's nice and tight. Nose wheel looks good. We want to make sure that it's at least two to three fingers, which it definitely is, so. No strut good too. And that's, yeah, the no strut, it's got, what, there's a gas in there, right? Nitrogen? Yeah, yeah, it's got a nitrogen in it, so if it, and there's like a... It, yeah, like the nitrogen leak ought to be sitting down on there and it would be not fun landing. Yeah, exactly. Good. Good. Okay, Alright, looks, smells, and tastes like Abcast. Just kidding. Don't taste your Abcast. Words to live by, don't taste it. Yeah, don't taste it, yeah, yeah. All right, there's a stall warning. Good. Can you handle the dress of light? can, Palm one, Palm two. Good, yeah. Everything looks and feels really good, so she's not giving me any reason to not fly today. So let's go fly. It was about a 180 mile flight down to Austin. Circuit breakers and pieces are good. Master is on, make sure it's rich. Feel fun. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on for just a few. Feel pump off. Clear pump! Sky condition clear. Temperature 31 Celsius. Dew point 22 Celsius. Altimeter 2997. Remark. All right, 997. Oh, yeah, now I see that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what do you, oh, you've made hats for them. That's kind of cool. <laughs> well, it's 100 degrees out there and just sitting them in the sun, you know, I mean, it's, they uh, will go off pretty quick. All right. Okay, right there. Yeah. Here we go. We're both professionals. We know that the space is limited in these airplanes. Right. So. Yeah, I hear you. All right. Ten ground, Cherokee 3051 Whiskey on Hotel Shorter Bravo with the weather, ready to taxi. 3031 Whiskey, ten ground, runway 18, taxi for Bravo Alpha. Bravo Alpha 1851 Whiskey, can I go ahead and get flight following with you to Austin? Cool, cool. Cruise altitude is? 6500, 5 whiskey, thank you. Wait a minute, we can't do that. Our computer, our radar is on a different mode. I can't do that until you have to call approaching airborne things. Okay. Yeah, he said you have to call approach airborne in case his radar's out or something. Oh, gotcha. I'm sure keep on whiskey. I'm unable to do flight call when the computer's down to the Tricon. Okay, I'll uh, pick it up with Tricon then. Thanks. Is the radar down just a temporary thing or? Yeah, it's just a link to us. The radar's good everywhere else. Okay, gotcha. All right, so I'm checking my flight controls while I'm taxiing, of course, making sure my brakes and rotor feels good. So far, so good. Uh, turn coordinator is doing what it's supposed to do. So I don't call it the pilot shortage. I'm calling it the pilot rapture. Yeah, right. Because it's not that there's a shortage of pilots. There's a shortage of, like, you know, qualified pilots, right. basically. And so uh, with the pilot rapture, it seems like the airlines are sucking everybody up from... Yeah. From blue. Well, once they get to 1,500 hours, they're gone. I yeah, mean, that's basically. The, that's the thing. I mean, I, you know, I, that was uh, it was the difference when I was coming up is that uh, right right when I was in college, uh, you know, there was no 1,500. People were like four or 500 hours and their commercial were going yeah. straight to the commuters. And But then September 11th happened like right before I graduated and that just nobody was hiring all of a sudden. Yeah. And then, of course, in, uh, what was that? I think it's 2013 is when they did the 1500 rule, so. Yeah. Well, and then about the same time as the, you know, you had the uh, the big, uh, you know, the, uh, the glut of pilots and then when nobody's hiring, then they extended the age 60 to age 65. Yep. And so then, you know, again, for five years, nobody was hiring. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now, now all those guys are being retired out, so it's back online, but. 
All right, so now we're down here at the end to do a little run up. Yes, sir. Ready? Say hi to my pilot friends over there. All right. All right, watch yourself, flight controls. Yep, I try not to clobber anybody yeah. with this, but it's tough sometimes. Yep. Then I'm gonna check my trim, which it looks good. All right, make sure to run up power, or, or run up, and then throttle to run up power. We're gonna go to 2,000 RPM, get on the brakes. Clean her out first. Right mag looks good. Left mag looks good. Car beats on. Yep. Suction's good, amps are amping, air beats off, yep. and power is slowly coming back. And for those that don't know, mags are basically, they uh, they power the spark plugs, and you have two spark plugs per engine, and so you're turning one of them off and making sure the other one works. And it's just for uh, redundancy and efficiency. 182 miles to Austin, all right. All right, we got a lot to talk about, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Going over to tower, and I'm gonna sit in tower Cherokee 305 on Whiskey, holding shirt runway 18 for southbound departure. Cherokee 305 on Whiskey, Tower, hold short, runway 18. Holding short, 1851 Whiskey. Operation Rescue Bev is underway. That's all. <laughs> coming back here or uh, down south? Uh, our plan is to come back up here. Cool. Where's she live? She actually lives in Argyle. Oh, okay. I was yeah. gonna say, I'm heading south after this, so. She call it the Bath Flight. It's a Bath Warrior Flight. Don't forget Doodle. <laughs> Yeah, I've got Bobby White with me. Awesome. This is going to be like the coolest episode ever, I think. <laughs> All right. Take your 5 whiskey southbound, runway 18, clear for takeoff, stationary heads, pattern right side. All right, cute. Got that stationary in sight, clear for takeoff, 1-8, 5 whiskey. All right, one, two, mixture is full. Doors closed and latch. All right, doors are locked, windows locked. I'm going to give that to you for just Open a second. 06 9 runway 18, clear, touch and go. Right, clear, got the code, 0 6 9. All right, that's off. Confirmed. All right, we've got a right crosswind, so I'm going to put in some crosswind correction. Heels to the floor, power's coming up. Okay, I'm dancing on the rotor just a little bit because of the crosswind here. Yeah. And we're good. Rotate. So oh, lifting off about 70. Eh, I gave it a little bit extra just because of the crosswind. Normally I rotate around 60. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can definitely were crabbed into the wind. Yep. Uh, that's a good 15 knots or so maybe. Yeah, exactly. See, I'm I'm putting in a good amount of right rudder right now to keep her straight down the runway. Good girl. Talk to my airplane. <laughs> Let her know I appreciate her. Right. No, she hadn't let you down so far, so. Yeah, no, no kidding. Fun fact: this airplane has a 100% pass rate on uh, check rides since oh, yeah. I've owned her, and go. that includes all of the club members that have utilized her for check rides as well. So how many is this? The, how many airplanes are in your club? We have four total right now. Okay. Are y'all accepting new uh, uh, pilots? We're always accepting applications, but we do have a slight waiting list right now. Uh, contact departure 181. one We'll see y'all later. Over to departure. See you guys this afternoon. 501 Bravo, you too. All right. Double flip. Regional departure. Cherokee 305 Whiskey. Just stopped at and climbing 1.5. Picking up flight following to Austin. I didn't get the call sign up. Yes, sir, Cherokee 3051 Whiskey. What altitude do you want to go at? Yeah, looking for uh, 65 today, uh, 51 Whiskey. So the floor of this one is what, 3,000 feet of the right. last feet that we're under right now? And since, you know, he hasn't given us permission through the Bravo yet, I'm just being very ginger right now on my. Altitude. 3051 Whiskey, Squawk 0501. 0501, 51 Whiskey. Fives and ones. That's appropriate. There you go. Oh, 501 Whiskey. 
Yeah, exactly. Go. What's your normal cruise speed on this one? Um, a normal cruise is around uh, 100 knots indicated. Uh huh. So your true would be what? Up at 6,500 would be 115 or so. Yeah. 3051 Whiskey Radar contact at 2,000 feet, 5 south of Stitt. You're cleared into the Bravo airspace, fly heading 190. I knew it. On the 4,500. All right, 100, 0, 4,500, 51 Whiskey, thank you. There you go. There we go. I love the controllers are in here. I have a, about a 90% like success rate with them just being super, super nice. Yeah. You know, there's every now and then somebody gets a little testy or grumpy and you can hear it in their voice with stuff, but... Yeah, some dads, sometimes they get pretty busy, you know. Ah, yeah, they do. 51 Whiskey, contact approach, 135.9 or 7. 35.9 or 7, 51 Whiskey, thanks. Regional approach, Cherokee 3, uh, 051 Whiskey, climbing 2.6 for 4.51 nine or 0 on the heading. Cherokee 3051 Whiskey, regional approach, thank you. Cherokee 51 Whiskey, enter straight in for only 17 left. Straight in for 17 left, 51 Whiskey. Alrighty. Alright, turn it back. And I've got my ILS set up for 17 left. I'm gonna follow the localizer in. All right, it'll be a little bit bumpy coming in, but it shouldn't yeah, be too bad. We're almost to the bumpy layer, it looks like. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bug 175 on my heading. I've also got it set up here twice. I've got my glide slope set up. Approach day two, two zero second. I'm descending at 500 feet for a minute. Contact gray approach, 120.07, good day. 25 nautical miles go, or 14 minutes, according to this thing. Hostile approach, Cherokee 3051 Whiskey, uh, descending for 17 left. 3501, Merchant 3051 Whiskey, outside of Paratrad. Southwest 202, final 140, still clear for the visual approach. It's runway 17 right. And there it is. Yeah, the bumps, yep. Wee. 7140 and go to tower, Southwest 202. There's the airport. There it is, okay. Yep. Starting to get warm again. Yep. Wind 170 at 6. Right down the runway. Three thousand five hundred scattered. Two zero thousand scattered. Temperature three two. Two point two four. Altimeter two nine or nine or six. All right. All right. Now I'm just gonna follow my localizer, and I'm staying at three thousand five hundred until they clear us, and then I'll just follow my glide slope. Uh, unless, they, unless they give us any uh, any more uh, restrictions. One to twelve yeah. o'clock at uh, Matter Mouth. Wee. Like being on a boat in the water. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> sort of. I've been on the worst in the water, trust me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I believe it. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, so the probably the biggest seas we've had at 20 foot seas. Yeah. 2981. Generally, when they're that big, though, they're pretty far apart, so it's not that bad. But yeah. Generally. Cherokee 51 Whiskey, maintain view for 2,500. 2,500, 51 Whiskey. Delta 2981. Uh, I do not want to get that guy's weight. 12 o'clock and about three and a half miles of Texan 2. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I know. Cherokee 5-1 Whiskey Traffic will be uh, off your right there, passing in front of you a citation at your 2 o'clock and 3 miles. In sight. In sight, 5-1 Whiskey. 5-1 Whiskey, ready to follow that traffic and uh, make straight in runway 17 left. Follow the traffic straight in 17 left, 5-1 Whiskey. There, I'll let you take that. All righty. We got about the 10 miles to go. Thank you. Join the final right on that head. All right, join final from here, Southwest 2513. Austin, Southwest 716, 9,800 for 5,000. Yeah, definitely bumping down 3, here. 3,000, yeah, 3, Southwest 716. I don't have to worry about a 737 behind me, right? <laughs> nope, no, okay, no there, there's one behind you, but he's going to 17 right. Good. Five six hours to reduce speed one five zero. All right, there's uh, air, that jet there. That citation, I think you said. Check your five one whiskey contact tower one two one point zero. Over to tower. Have a good one. Five one whiskey. Tower. Good afternoon. Extended five sixty nine with UV swirl one seven left. J twenty five runway one seven left. Line up and wait. Citation four mile final. Line up and wait. Game J eight two five. Touch five six nine off tower. Continue runway one seven left. Traffic in position. Continue, 17 left, exit at 569. Now 769, make left to Tango, kind of ground point nine. Tango, ground point nine, 769. Austin Tower, Cherokee 3051 Whiskey, visual 17 left. Number 3051 Whiskey, Austin Tower, verify your VFR, ma'am. VFR. If I was here, I'd make straight in, runway 17 left. Straight in for 17 left, 5 Whiskey. 
I'm going to stay a little bit higher. One four, turn left. Turn left. Five zero. Where my one seven left? Clear for takeoff. Oh, that's so cool. One seven left. One five zero. Game jet eight two five. You got your six fifty nine. Runway one seven left. Clear to land. Uh, can you give me what the ground frequency is so I can get plugged in? Five sixty nine. Clear to land. Five one whiskey. Runway one seven left. Clear to land. One seven left. Clear to land. Five one whiskey. Ground twenty one nine. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Ground point nine. Coming in. It's really cool. Like. Got into San Francisco several times, and they do the approaches there, and yeah, you'd be the same speed all the way in right next to an airport. Yeah. They do that at DFW, too. Yeah. I am going to stay high on the local, or on the glide slope, so you will notice that this goes down, and the reason I'm doing that, of course, is because we have a jet in front of us. Right. Uh, I'm just going to mind the wake turbulence. We're a little bitty thing compared to them, so... Right. I'm also not going to get uh, set up for my landing just yet. I'm not getting configured. All right, keep the speed up. Exactly. Yep. Well, this thing will slow down. Like oh, that, yeah. So. Well, you know, it's funny because people say that because it's a PA-28, but because of the longer tapered wings, she's actually in between a Cherokee, like a, with the Hershey bar wings, yeah. and a 172. Yeah. So she'll float, not quite as far as a 172, oh, but seven, three, Charlie Pablo, she'll float. Uh, one more All of those right. here and uh, out to the west, if I could. Now we can start getting configured for landing. 4513 is clear. Good girl. All right. Yeah. Flaps, 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 Charlie Papa, Roger, departure will be on 110.0. 920, Charlie Papa. All right, speed's good. I'm a little high on the glide slope. I'm okay with that. Yep, no problem. Got this Delta holding short for us. That's so cool. Find the Cherokee. Right. All right. Take that runway. That's all right. Right on the center line. There you go. IC65 XT climb out. IC65. Clear 5 1 whiskey, turn right. And Juliet, kind of ground point nine. Right on Juliet, over to ground. 5 1 whiskey, thanks. All right, a successful flight. Let's get windows. Yeah, no kidding. Open here. Over. Yep. Yeah. Take ground 31. There we go. So air conditioning. Austin Ground, Cherokee 3051 Whiskey, off at Juliet, going to Signature. Service 3, Charlie Papa, Austin Ground, taxi to Signature via Alpha Lima. Alpha Lima to Signature, and that was for 51 Whiskey. For 51 Whiskey, uh, Roger. It was a successful flight down to Austin. Be sure to tune in next episode as we interview Beverly Bass. She was the first female American Airlines captain and one of the pilots diverted during 9 11.